So if you have a vehicle and you think you have a bad engine water pump, I thought I'd go over the symptoms of a bad water pump and how you go about telling if it has gone bad. And so what are some symptoms of a bad water pump? Well, very likely the engine will be overheating or have very high temperatures since the water pump is what circulates the water throughout the engine and the radiator. And so if it's not circulating, then it's going to cause overheating. Also at the bottom of the water pump is what's called a weep hole. And when a water pump fails, it'll start to drip out water. So there might be coolant leaking out. Also when the bearings go bad inside this front pulley, it can cause like a clanging or or clunking noise and some vehicles have what's called a fan clutch which is basically the radiator fan is attached to the water pump many vehicles now use electric fans but some still do use a fan clutch and when the bearings go out on that water pump this fan clutch you'll be able to wobble it around very easily and it can even wobble around when the engine's running and sometimes when those bearings fail for this pulley that serpentine belt that goes around and spins it sometimes it could slip off and so if you go out there and look at it and that serpentine belt is slipped off then check out this front pulley to see if it's wobbling around a lot and so the most common symptom of a bad water pump is that there's a small hole, usually located at the bottom of the water pump, called a weep hole, that's going to be leaking out coolant. Sometimes it can be off to the side or at different locations, but most of the time it's located at the bottom. And sometimes this can be kind of hard to look up and in there and to see if it's leaking or not, depending on the vehicle and the engine. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see if that weep hole is leaking or not. And so since it can be kind of hard to see if coolant is leaking out that weep hole, then be sure it's not something else that's causing like a coolant leak or the engine overheat. Be sure to check and see if anything else is leaking mainly those radiator hoses or any hoses going into the engine compartment for the heater or anything along these lines for example if a hose is leaking it might be leaking out all the coolant causing the engine to overheat or things like this somebody could go out there and look at that water pump and it might seem like the water pump's dripping out water when it's really just coming from a hose or something along those lines so be sure there's no other leaks going on also be sure that the electric fans are kicking on because if they're not kicking on it can lead to overheating which sometimes can cause the radiator to blow out coolant and then again people might think it's the water pump when it's really a failed electric fan the electric fan should be kicking on you should be hearing them spin when the engine's hot Another thing that could cause problems is when the thermostat is stuck closed because no coolant can circulate throughout the engine or through the radiator and then it could cause the engine to overheat which again can sometimes blow out coolant and then people will think it's a water pump. I made a video on how you could test if the thermostat is stuck closed. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But if the electric fan is working, the thermostat's not stuck closed and there's no other coolant leaks going on like a hose or something like that, then very likely that water pump has gone bad. Again, go out here and check this front pulley. Be sure it's not wobbling around. And if you can look up underneath the bottom, you could try to see if you can't see that weep hole. And if it's leaking out coolant steadily, then you know that water pump's failed and it's time to replace it. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over the symptoms of a bad water pump and how you go about telling if it has gone bad. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.